one sexual thing that you consider off limits um this has to be anal sex like come rain come sunshine come whatever and whatever i'm never ever going to do anal sex like what the uh, what like what the that one to me mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. have no. you made out with someone who follows you on ig god <laughs> welcome back and thank you so so much for tuning in even today and just in case you're new here you're so so much welcome my name is laura i am a kenyan youtuber and i'm best in nakuru so guys anyone that claims to know me so well knows that i am not a friend of alcohol it's a choice i made in my life it's not like i'm taking any precautions or something it's just a choice i made by myself Many of my friends ask me why I do not drink alcohol and to be very, very, very sincere and honest, I do not have any answer. Like, it's not like my mom raised me and told me do not ever drink alcohol. No, she's not that type of parent. It's just a decision. Also, guys, to be very honest, I do not find any fun in drinking alcohol, but today I asked my instagram family to dare me not to dare me it's actually daring i told them to ask me questions and then yesterday on my insta stories i went and bought this alcohol it's called baileys i was told that it's creamy i actually confirmed that i opened it yesterday to confirm whether i could keep up with the taste and then you guys can see where it is right now because I poured some for my friend and neighbor yesterday because she really enjoys and I knew that I won't drink all of it also here. So I also have this one. It's a short if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to be drinking one of these every time I do not answer the question. And guys, just forgive me because I also have this one. I also have this one to just like cool everything down, please. Just just have mercy on me. Just have mercy on me. Let me just have this one at the side to cool everything down. Because I was told that this one can actually get you so high. So I've never drank this. I was to come here with whiskey, but I thought it would be more harsh on me this one is actually at 15 percent alcohol um you can see it's 15 percent alcohol that's a lot for me but you know what guys anything for you. I also want you guys to know that as I make this video, I am 25 years of age, so I am allowed to take this alcohol. I'm not making this video to encourage anyone to use drugs. I am making this video purely for fun, okay? So without wasting so much time, let's get so into the this. first one. What's the most embarrassing thing you've been caught doing by your mom? Uh, the most embarrassing thing my mom caught me doing. Wow, it was so... <laughs> you guys, my mom has seen it all. She has seen it all in this world. She has... What's the worst thing you told your ex-boyfriend when you guys were not in good terms? Do you mean while dating or because we broke up and after breaking up, we don't even communicate. So there's no way I'd even tell him. However, if you meant while dating, then... One thing with me, I am so sensitive. I rarely tell people 
words that can hurt them like really 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 i actually act instead of saying so i act a lot i don't talk a lot but i act a lot mostly i walk away Anyone who knows me will tell you that I, 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 I really walk away from anything that will cause me trouble. Like I just, you just start an argument. If I feel like it's going south, I, I'll just walk away. I don't know how to put it. You know, guys, one thing with words is that once you say them, they'll be flashbacking in someone's mind. So once you tell someone something really, really, really sensitive to them, it will be kicking always in their minds and it will somehow affect them uh, mentally, their self-esteem and such stuff. So I rarely, I can't remember like any like serious thing or maybe abusing his physical looks or maybe... I'm not that kind of person. I'm 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 actually not that kind of person. I can't remember. Mm. The most money you've ever earned. Msioneka na enjoy. Hmm. In a toke kwa mapu ama, what's happening? Wow, I'm gonna be drunk today. What's happening? My skin a block. What's your body count? People can be evil. People can be evil. Are you a virgin? This one I can answer easily. No, I'm not a virgin. I'm not a virgin. And then another one. At what age did you lose your virginity? <sighs> wow. I think it's it's going down. At what age did I break my virginity? Because I'm not going to drink. I think I was in form three or four. Yeah, I was in form three. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I must have been in form four. Either form three, third term, or form four, around first term. That ka holiday break before you go back to school. Actually, I think it's that holiday when I had um, completed my third form. So I was going to form four. Yeah. And it, it was just some very funny thing, you guys. Like, it was so weird. I don't think it even took, like, a minute. I wish I could go deep, but... Uh. It was so weird. One sexual thing that you consider off-limits... Um, this has to be anal sex, like, come rain, come sunshine, come whatever and whatever, I'm never ever going to do anal sex, like, what the, uh, what, like, what the, what, that one to me, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, please, and thanks. Uh, what's the least favorite part of your body? I've been waiting for this question and you guys ought to have asked this a long time ago so i have this uh something on this earlobe um my skin is so sensitive some of you already know that or if you've been keen you know that my skin has got uh problems i have got even eczema and such stuff so i really hate this part of my body like with all my heart I try to cover it sometimes when I can, like right now you can see, when I can, anytime I get a chance to cover that part, I usually do that, so that has to be the least, actually the only, because every other part of my body, I don't think I hate it, but this one, I can assure you I hate. Next, I think I'm going, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. 
um have you ever dated for money no let me tell you guys something if i decide that i'm dating you then it's just dating you if i see you and all i see is money then that's gonna be something else and not dating this one said you are dating and that's on period with exclamation marks honey i know it's so hard to believe that i'm not dating but imagine i'm not dating i'm not dating I, I know i know even me myself sometimes i sit down and i'm like really like are you are you serious but yeah i'm so serious i'm so honest i'm not dating that's just it if i start dating i'll let you guys know i promise i'll let you guys know i might not tell you who i'm dating or stuff but i'll let you know you wish some of your past videos did not exist no i am so proud of myself i'm so proud of the journey i am just so proud of everything such that sometimes i take my time and watch my previous videos and i feel strengthened i feel so energized like i just feel good i feel like laura you came from look where you came from look look it's possible you can get ahead and even further okay so um i, I no um where has the strangest place you had sex? Has anyone betrayed you by exposing the secrets you had uh, confided in them? Yes. Am I supposed to say the secrets, the exact secrets? I hope no. I hope no, because I'm not going to do that. So, this was actually my ex. I had confided in him a lot. This was someone I took as a friend, as a very, very, very close friend. I used to tell him the deepest things that I felt in my heart. Mm, I shared very deep stuff, guys. Like, I really shared deep. I know everyone got those deep, sensitive stuff they have in their lives. It might not be the same things for everyone, but at least people have got those deep stuff. And for me, I had just entrusted him, like, I don't know how I can say it. So he actually used it against me. He not only shared with his friends, but he also used the secrets against me. I think that's enough. That's enough, but yeah. Have you made out with someone who follows you on IG? God. Wow. My head is actually spinning, guys. My head is spinning. Yes, yes, yes. Please do not go and suspect all my male followers. I beg you in the name of God. Please do not. <sighs> What's your turn on during sex? Oh God. I don't know how people enjoy alcohol like i just wanted to pass and enter my stomach without passing through my tongue and throat
I can't be telling you guys my turn-ons. Are you planning to have sex with me? Huh? One thing you can never do in this life or world. One thing I can never do. Never say never. There's nothing I can say that I can never ever do. Like, I believe in never say never, by the way. So, yeah. Dirty phone conversations you have. Mm, I don't have any dirty phone conversations. Yeah, actually don't have. Um, what secrets are you keeping from your parents? I'm not keeping any secret from my mom. I actually feel like she knows more than what she's supposed to know. Hmm? The same person asked, what secret are you keeping from everybody? actually have secrets that no one no one knows it didn't involve any second party like it's just me and me and i'm not gonna share with anybody till death do me part with me oh god am i drunk why am i saying things that don't make sense like this one is i can't believe i'm going to finish this by myself Who's the worst YouTuber in Kenya? Why are you trying to, to get me in trouble? I mean, wh what will you gain after getting me in trouble, please? And first of all, I don't even know any worst YouTuber. Like, I can't, I can't just wake up in the morning and I'm like, that's the worst YouTuber in Kenya. Like, I don't... In fact, I should not even drink because, to be honest, I don't know any worst YouTuber in Kenya. What's your biggest romantic fail? Actually have one. Guys, I'm drunk. I can feel it. Oh god. How much did you earn in December? Do you mean YouTube from YouTube? Actually, December has got uh, the best revenue ever. By the way, guys, if you're a YouTuber and you're watching this, always do either Vlogmas or just be so active on uploading content on YouTube during December. Although I'm not ready to share what I exactly what I earned, but actually earned so well in December on YouTube. Okay, better than other months. Guys, I'm drunk. I'm actually drunk, like drunk, drunk. I can feel it. I'm drunk, drunk. I can't feel my body. I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I can't believe I'm doing this. Can this help? I need to deliver some work for a certain client. How am I going to do that? What's the other question remaining here? Oh God. When last did you have sex? It's almost over. Completely drunk. Are you celibate? Um, what are your views on sex before marriage? I'm not celibate. I've told you guys in... One of the video, one of the q and A's I've done, I am not celibate. I might go long, for so long before having sex, but it's not because I'm celibate. It's just because I do not have a partner to have sex with, okay? But I'm not celibate. Like, if I have a boyfriend, we are going to have sex, okay? If I have a partner, we're going to have sex before marriage. Oh, 
if they are for it, if they are in for it, but if they are celibate, then it's okay. What are my views about being celibate? It's okay. It's fine. If you feel like being celibate works for you, I'm a Christian. Don't get me wrong. If you feel like it works for you, well and good. In fact, the better. To be very honest the better but it's it's not just for me okay what are the dirtiest thoughts you have ever had oh god my thoughts are so dirty so so dirty by the way so dirty now i enjoy you have dated someone of the same sex as you do you mean um lesbian? I don't know why this thing pops up in every of my Q and L's. Like, guys, I I don't understand. I just do not understand. Always, and I'll never understand. I have never dated someone of my sex. I've never dated a girl. I've never had anything to do with a girl, guys. I am super straight okay guys i think that marks the end of this video in case i missed your question please forgive me guys i feel like i should sleep for an hour wake up and work because whatever i'm feeling is not normal whatever i'm feeling is obviously not normal thank you so much guys for watching um please do not worry i'm not feeling that bad bad but yeah um i think i'll be okay in one hour or two hours even if it's tomorrow morning i'll still wake up and edit this video and upload it okay so thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much thank you for always supporting me and my channel and my content and for loving me for free I love you guys so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.